working on Cousin Lucas's car today. Gonna be installing some spacers to get the back end sitting up higher. Right now, it's got some pretty cool springs on it, but it sits way too low in the back and we can't adjust the camera properly. So, we've made some spacers. Gonna install them and get the car driving properly. Here we have the spring and basically have added these spacers to the top of it. So what's gonna happen is I got a series of spacers here to go on top of the spring perch. So the idea here is we've got the spring just a rubber mount at the bottom for the spring to sit on and it's grooved to fit the mat to match the contour of the spring. That'll go in here. The spring sits here. On top of that we'll have a number of spacers with the radius spacer at the top. It'll fit like so. We can adjust it with different spacer rings as necessary and put it all back together. So uh, I'm gonna get doing that and see where we end up. Well, with the spacers in it, it looks like I'm gonna need a spring compressor to get these back in. So we're gonna have to pause for now and find a spring compressor to rent. I just can't muscle it in. I'll give it a shot. But I don't think it's gonna work. Alright, so after messing about with the spring for a while, I determined I could not get it back in. So I went to part source and borrowed a spring compressor. Alright, I'm a little worried that the spring compressors are gonna get away and putting it back in the car. So all we can do is try it. Give it a shot. So there we go, it's compressed a little bit, hopefully that's enough to get it on. Like I say, these might get in the way, so I don't know what to do there. If they get in the way, we'll just have to strap it up, take them off, and see if I can wrestle it in place. We shall see. So right away I see that there's no way I'm going to be able to get this in here. The thread rod that pulls these together is just going to make it impossible to wrestle it in. So I think I'm going to have to compress it as much as possible, tie it up somehow, which is probably not the safest thing to do and get it in place. But Alright, it looks like with the right bit of wiggle I may be able to get this in here. Um, I'm not the most confident with the spring holding, so... Uh, I'm gonna have to try to keep my fingers safe. And we shall see. I'm gonna pop this straight off and see if that helps. Get that straight right out of the way. Good. I'll put it maybe. And now it looks like there's a lot of room, so let's put the strap back on. Of course, now the strap is in the way, so we'll put it under tension with the jack and see if I can get that back in, get the part of the spring compressor out of the way because the knuckle's grabbing onto it and it's pinched in there. I can't get it out. So let's see if everything goes together. I hope that's the right amount of spacing that we need. So we need to strap out one. Thank you. 
but I probably should have brought a new screen purge because it's sitting kind of funny. But I'll see if I can turn it and make it sit a little bit better. So while I was spinning around, trying to see the back tab, where the spot's supposed to go, the spring came off the perch. So now I'm just trying to get it back in before I can compress it back up. I'm starting to feel like I've spaced it up too much because this just doesn't feel like it's working, but all we can do is try. Alright, I think that's got it. Uh, seems to be mostly seated there. I'll get everything hooked up and I'll do the other side, put it on the ground and see if this guess at the spacing works. Gonna head on to the B side now, get the spring on the other side of the car. After that, probably drop the drive shaft out because I think there's something wrong with that too. Here we go. Just use this jack to support the wheel. Since I made it easier on the last side just to pull the strut right off, I'm going to do that right away. Now I should be able to lower the jack and pull the spring right out. Without the, without the spacers in, it uh, should just yank right out. It's the spacers that take up too much of the space. To get the spring back, and we got to use a compressor, but here we go. Oh, out it comes. Last time I had a hard time getting the spring compressor off because it got pinched between the springs. So this time I'm just going to do it from the outside because no matter what, I have to strap it up with the tie straps anyway, with the ratchet straps. So, this is just to compress off the car. And hopefully this goes a little bit better this time. We'll see. So now I'm going to strap it up, but I'm not sure what's going to happen with this because it's pinching the last coil, so that's going to have to go in the perch and we have to try to wrestle that out after. But I'm going to try it that way just to see what happens. It might make it a little bit easier to sneak in there uh, and have to maybe even cut the ratchet strap. That's, if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. I think the way this is normally done is there's a big scissor clamp that squeezes these together kind of on the car and I don't have one. I do what I do. So I'm back to the rash strap because I couldn't get anything else to work. This is sketchy at best, so I'm trying to quick get the spring impressed by its perch mounts and everything like that. Um, So they're both loose now with any luck. This will just jump right into place. Here we go. That one's up, that's good. Two of that's good. It seems to be generally where we want it. So we'll let that seat up, I'll get the strut back in place and off we go. Took some doing, a lot of wrestling and fidgeting about with it, but I got the spring to seat in its spot. It's all good. 
So I'm gonna start working on the drive shaft. Hopefully, with any luck, I can put this on the ground, roll it out of the garage, and see if these spacers put it in the right spot, because uh, I don't wanna be doing this again. So the reason I wanted to take the drive shaft out is the last time I was driving it, it gave a really awful vibration uh, for around 30 kilometers an hour. So I thought maybe one of the U-joints had gone. When I started taking it out, it looks like this midship is really loose and probably ruined. So what I'm going to do is just tighten that up, order a new midship, and hopefully the problem goes away because the drive shafts are not serviceable and very expensive. With any luck. Oh yeah, that's way better already. Still probably need a new midship because it looks like it's been shaking itself to death. That's one problem maybe solved itself. We'll see. So now we'll put the car on the ground, drive it out and see if these spacers have done what I wanted them to do.